Hey YouTubers, over here messing with the blazer a little bit today. Uh, of course, this thing has the access panel, which makes it a lot easier to upgrade the fuel pump to the Walbro 525. Uh, one, a couple of things we've run across since we're doing this project, we were wondering how this could be possible, is if you look at the wiring on that 525 pump and the 255 pump, I'm not even sure if that's a true 12 gauge wire that comes out of these pumps through the connector at the hat and then goes to my 12 gauge or it's either 10 or 12 gauge hot wire kit I have on here. I don't know. It seems weird that it's so important to run a hot wire kit back to the pump, but the pump actually has wires that are smaller than the stupid hot wire kit. So I don't know if that's something we should upgrade or not. Uh, but we're in the process. We're going to add another weather pack connector so it's easier to do the ground cables. Um, it's been a pretty straightforward swap so far. Nothing major has happened to ruin the progress. And having the access panel helps a lot. Yeah, I'm filming now because we got the pump back in. And why the hell this one went in twice as easy as the old one, I have no clue. And, Richard, added a weather pack to my ground cables, so now we don't even have to get underneath the car to upgrade the pump or go two pumps or whatever next time. But we have noticed that the Eaton fuel hose that we're running on here is showing a tremendous amount of hardening and cracking. If you guys can see that. See all those cracks? This hose isn't even that old and it doesn't get used that much. I don't know if it's a issue with the unleaded fuel I've been running in here or what's going on, but I'll probably upgrade to dash eight feed at some point, keep the dash six return, and you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. But we got the Walbro 525 pump installed. So there's one more thing we can mark off the list towards getting this turbo to run and hopefully not blow anything up. I didn't say that out loud, did I? We'll just strike that from the record. Here's a little uh, observation we made on when we took that Walbro 255 pump out. Look how utterly filthy the pickup sock is. Look down in there. It's literally just full a black stuff. I'm not 100% sure why. Because, I mean, I'm, I, literally, my gas tank, uh, hat, sender, pump, everything was brand new when I assembled this vehicle. We were, you know, I don't know. Unless something was deteriorating inside the tank or something. But that sock is plugged up or, you know extremely dirty for this low amount of miles and and fuel that's been run through it so i don't know